Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Rank Roulette series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we're going to be kicking off with this team that you can see on your screen in front of you that we selected from the roulette wheel. Thanks to your nominations in yesterday's episode, and talking about yesterday's episode, we kicked off with the team. It was pretty good. We played Ham the Man in our first game and uh, thunder happened and stuff went wrong and then we pulled it back in our second one so if you'd like to go back and check out those those matches because they were both really good teams been performing really well i will link a card up here for you and check those out and then come into today's episode or watch today's episode and go back or just rely on my recap right now that might that might work for you as well. But I hope you're all well. Looking forward to getting into some more battles today. As always, the team is down in the description below. There is a raw paste, poker paste. Check it out. And if you're mad enough, try it out. I mean, try it out because it is pretty fun. Definitely try it last week's team if you haven't. Because I think that team's legit good. Um, but yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said at the end of yesterday's episode, we didn't really get to see much of the Lanoon. So hopefully today is the day we can, we can unleash the little weasel if that's what it is. It could be a ferret as well. Um, but who knows, that's a topic for another time. Without further ado, my friends, let's get into it today. Remember, tomorrow is the day where we can activate our bonus buttons. We've got our randomizer, switch up, and our legend make, and our patron buttons, so we can change the team of tomorrow, sitting on a rating of 1549. It's unbelievable. And as always, if you enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does really help out the, the channel and the video itself. And uh, do subscribe if you're not already, because we have lots of Pokemon content coming up for you on the channel here, especially with the release of the new rules coming in which hopefully was at the weekend and uh, amongst other things as well I want to stay away from Necrozma version 2 until we like get to a good point we'll go Necrozma version 1 to kick us off today with our music and um, yeah like I say hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent um, but I just want to get this Lanoon working I've played I like Lanoon is a weird Pokemon I've never really played it myself but I've obviously played against it many times and it's a very scary Pokemon to play against and I think the Sableye complements it so well Sableye was probably the MVP from yesterday's episode um, either that or Kyogre and kind of putting Kyogre down because of how many Thunders it missed in our first game which definitely cost us but Sableye's been really good and I think the ability to not be faked out and have that kind of ability to have a fast-ish fake out in this sort of format where Incineroar is probably your fastest um, common fake out user then it's a really good option for us to kind of go down with Lanoon imagine if Lanoon got in a focus as well that would be pretty sick probably bust but um, yes uh, hopefully like I say we can we can get the Lanoon working today we can't find an opponent, so what we're going to do, my friends, I'm going to cut it here. We'll come straight back when we bump into our first opponent of the episode. And we've got a first opponent of the episode, Japanese player, rated 1527. Um, and we'll get straight into team preview. Okay, so our first opponent is running a team of Dawnwings, Necrozma, Tapu Lele, Venusaur, Gyarados, Groudon and Celesteela. This is quite an interesting uh, team composition. You've got the Dawn Wings, which is probably going to revert into that Ultra Necrozma, supported by that Tapu Lele, the Psychic Terrain there. You can imagine that that's quite an offensive mod there. If the, the Tapu Lele is scarfed, it gives my opponent a really fast offensive mod uh, straight away. Um, and then the other fast offensive mod is going to be that Groudon with the Venusaur, which potentially could be the Mega of the team as well. Uh, it has Chlorophyll before it Mega evolves, of course, so bon benefiting from that sun with double speed then you've got a potential other mega on the team which is going to be Gyarados probably not well, I don't know it could be mega Gyarados um, which has the intimidate support and then the Celesteela which supports everything with that wide guard and everything else uh, from that side of things so what are we going to do has Scarf Kyogre that great here probably not against the Groudon so we need another way to deal with Groudon we need a way to deal with the Tapu Lele and the um the Dawn Wings as well. Uh, oof, this feels tough already. Uh, Lanu not going to be ideal for us here. Charabug maybe not too bad. Um, hmm. Let's go with Mewtwo, Sableye, Charabug, and do I bring in? I have to bring Kyogre really. And we'll get into this first one today. And apologies if you can hear any like kind of construction noises bleeding over 
in this recording. I do apologize. Hopefully it's not bleeding over and you're like, I can't hear anything. But if you can, I do apologize. Neighbors are doing work again and it's pretty loud. So it's like, come on. He works on a weekend. Typical. Anyway, anyway, aside from that, we're going to see Groudon Venusaur. It'd be great if it was Scarfed Groudon, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd love it. We could then utilize our Kyogre over Ride the Rain, but it's, and sadly it's not. It's Primal. Primal Groudon. Although, how good would Scarfed Groudon be in this series? That would be good. Scarfed Groudon for half the week, Scarfed Kyogre for the other half. That would that I would I would enjoy that. Anyway, we're gonna see Venusaur, we're gonna see Groudon come out for my opponent. Um Well we'll go Mega Mega Evolve. Um Hmm. Do I just start attacking the Groudon? I, I feel like the Venusaur probably protects here just to get around. It's uh, I'm gonna just go for the fake out into Venusaur. It's it, with the chlorophyll it's pretty fast. Venusaur switching out, Tapu Lele, yeah. I mean, we're not. I mean, this works out fine for us. If we switched Sableye into Charabug, that battery ability, we'd maybe be able to knock out that Groudon here. Groudon might protect as well. But I doubt it. Not with the kind of player that you see my opponent wants to catch us out, faking out into that Groudon. But the Psychic Train really boosting Mega Mewtwo Y's ability to hit this Groudon for some big fat damage. Can we knock it out? That would be incredible if we can. Ooh, doing some nice damage though back. Sableye avoiding, because it's a ninja. It's a ninja! Um, okay, me too. Ho, oh, that's, that's nasty damage. Scarfed Lele, I'd imagine it probably is. Um, let's go for a protect there. What can we do with Sableye right now? Can we do anything? <sighs> Not really. I mean, we could try and get a foul playoff into the Groudon. The thing is, I think we'll probably see a Moonblast and a Precipice Blades. Although you might target the Mewtwo if you're Tapu Lele to try and get rid of it so Groudon's a bit protected. I'm going to see the Groudon protect. Tapu Lele, Moonblast. Yeah, it's into the Mewtwo, so that makes a lot of sense. Foul play there. Okay. Um, I mean, we can we can do the same again and maybe preserve Mewtwo till later on. Bring in Charabug and go for that foul play into into the Groudon because my opponent now has to double into Sableye to get rid of it and I think you I think you have to prioritize the Mewtwo because otherwise you lose Groudon like it's it's that simple isn't it there's the Moonblast is it into yeah it's into that Mewtwo so Charabug gonna sap that up quite nicely Precipice Blades it does connect Matic ooh Okay, but we'll get rid of the Groudon, which is the, a, a nice a nice thing for us. Although, wow. Oh, how do we not take Groudon down with foul play from that range? That's insane. Um, hmm. I think String Shot's probably a good option here. We can't use Quash, though. Um, and we can't really do anything else. And a Precipice Blaze is just going to absolutely demolish... Uh, I don't think we can beat the Scarfed Lele. Um, the Psychic Terrain really, really does affect this team quite, quite badly. And we need to really get the String Shot off. If we can get the String Shot off, it makes life a lot easier for... Um, we'll go for a far play again into Groudon. I guess it's the only option we've got. I feel like this is, yeah, the Moonblast coming out. Into Sableye. We need a Precipice Blades to miss. If Precipice Blades misses... It could open the door up for us. Rock slide. Groudon. Okay. Mm. Now we do get Kyogre and obviously our rain will not be a thing. So <sighs> we can get rid of the Groudon. For sure, but it's the, the Lele is the big problem for us here. This is what I really need to get rid of, and I have to lock into an attack with Kyogre, and Ice Beam's not really going to cut it at all. Um, you're locked into Moonblast. You're going to go for you're going to go for the Mewtwo. We could try and call out my opponent. I think they protect the Groudon here, to be honest. 
because they it, it's obvious that the rain doesn't activate here that we are scarfed so you know just go on yeah I mean if we get a freeze here that would be good but I don't think you can freeze can you in uh, miss please miss please miss for the foul play damage, which is really strange. Okay, that foul play damage is Groudon still throwing out some big damage. Like that precipice blades onto the Mewtwo was huge. Um, yeah, we're just gonna have to try and Shadow Ball and go for the Ice Beam. It'd be amazing if Mewtwo outsped the Lele, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Okay, the Groudon protecting. Might not be the fastest, fastest Lele, that's the thing. Nah, the Moonblast coming out. That's game, unfortunately. It's not a really great way to start the episode today. It's going to put us down to uh, two losses, one win. But it kind of shows how weak the team is to the psychic train. Um, okay, we'll try and get the crowd on. Last ditch attempt. We should outspeed the Lele. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> see if we can do it. No, we don't even do that. That's uh, is that timid scarf. Potentially. Oh, we survived at 1 HP. Kyogre still kicking around. But really, we've got no options now. Yeah, Psychic Terrain is a big problem for us. We need something to come in and be able to help out with with Tapu Lele. Um, and the cross map coming out. I mean, not the best of starts for us at all. But what can you do? I mean, when you get something that really, like, kind of walls... I mean, the other options we could have looked at on the team would have been... Lanoon wouldn't have been really that great here because of the Tapu Lele. Because um, we can't really utilize that extreme speed like we need to. Landorus might have been alright. I think, really, we would have been better starting off with maybe Charabug and going for um, the, the String Shot and spamming that. That could have been an option for us. Because uh, we really, I think that the priority that we needed to kind of go down there would have been slowing down that Lele. And then it opens the door up a little bit more for Mewtwo to kind of knock things out. But as it stood, it was just protecting my opponent, the rest of my opponent's team, which is a little bit sad for us. But at the same time, that's why Scarf Tapu Lele is so good. Right, what music are we going to go for in this next one? Let's go for something like... Uh, let's go Gladian. I've been enjoying Gladian recently. And um, hopefully, again, it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. They are coming in dribs and drabs, but I guess it gives me a little bit of an opportunity to talk about um, the reveal, the Sword and Shield reveal news that we had at Worlds. How exciting was that? Normally, I'm a bit like, hmm, is it going to be that good? We've had some years where it's been really kind of mediocre. Like, I don't mean to sound bad on some Pokemon, like, but Mega Slowbro reveal was it 2014 in DC, I think. Yeah, I think it was last time it was in Washington. And it was just like a bit like, ah, oh, Mega Slowbro, great. And that was after like the previous year where we got Mega Kangaskhan, which is like, damn that thing's crazy um so to get the reveal that we got this year was was really incredible we've got some really great mechanics um neutralizing gas i mean that is going to be really interesting and then is it reflect armor as well on um uh Kovic knight that that's going to be interesting and i think like just the the mechanics around when you gigantamax you can't be faked out that's pretty cool uh, so there's it's pretty cool as well when you look as as well at the battlefield It looks as though when you've got two Pokemon out You've got your Gigantamax Pokemon out as well now I don't know if that was just me misinterpreting I'm gonna have to go back and check out the video But it did appear like there was both sides of the field had two Pokemon out and then their huge Pokemon behind them Which kind of turns it into a triple battle for as long as you've got your Gigantamax Pokemon out and like I say, I don't know if I was just misinterpreting the the scenario, the battle scene, or just dreaming it up. But I could have sworn there was, when there was that huge Raichu on the field, there was Ludicolo and another Pokemon, and then a huge Gigantamax Pokemon behind them. Which kind of indicates that there's three and three. Oh, 
cracking. We've got a really good, good fellow Patreon member, Stu, who has just been phenomenal in our Flinch Squad circuit this season, um, and he will be playing in the Invitational very soon. So what a pleasure to have him on the channel finally and uh, coming up against this week's team. So... So he's going to have a sneak preview before it goes up, but nonetheless, we'll get into team preview and see what he's going to throw at us today. Stu on 1700 as well, so if we win, we're going to really scupper his rate, and he is playing a team of Xerneas, Groudon, Tornadus, Kangas Khan, the Incineroar, and Tapu Koko. Can we catch him out with Scarf Kyogre? I really don't think we can. Um, Sableye could be really handy here, though. Um, although the Kangas Khan with its Scrappy could be a little bit of a problem as well. Right. Um, is this the one where we go Lanoon? Um, potentially. Potentially is. Um, Scarf Kyogre, I'm not really... I'm not going to bring to this match. I'm going to bring Lanoon. I'm going to bring Charabug. And I'm going to bring Mewtwo as well. Do we do this? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll just throw a random bunch in. Now, we are one win, two losses. Obviously, we need to win this one to tie it up going into tomorrow's episode. Which would kind of set us up nicely to activate those buttons and get a good result by the end of the week. And obviously, if we beat Stu here... We'll steal a bunch of points as well. It's going to be really difficult, though. It's not going to be straightforward. But at the same time, we'll see what happens. So we're going to see Lanoon and uh, Sableye come out for our good cells against Kangaskhan and Tornadus. So um, let's go for Fake Out. Do we go Belly Drum, though? Because uh, we could Fake Out the Kangaskhan. We could Fake Out the Kangaskhan. Um... That's the thing. We could fake out Kang. Although, we're probably just going to trade fake outs here. That's the thing. Let's fake out the Tornadus. We could potentially switch in something like Charabug as well. I kind of tempted just to go for the Belly Drum, though. I'm going to go for the Belly Drum. Let's try, let's try and get it off. It's a fake out. It's going into Sableye. Okay, we might see a Taunt. Yeah, it's going to shut down Alanoon. Doesn't want us doing anything like that. Uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty. It's a nice lead to shut down that. Um, now, I think we go for foul play, and we switch. Do we switch? We're probably better off switching, keeping Lanoon for a little bit later. We could pull a double switch. I mean, that's the that's the other option here, where we go for Mewtwo into a Sableye, and then we go into Charabug. Um, with Lanoon, we keep this lead for later when, when hopefully the Tornadus, the Kang, has mega evolved and the Tornadus is maybe still sitting there, and then we can maybe get some traction that way. Uh, I'd imagine we probably see the Tornadus go for a Tailwind now, taking the opportunity to get the Tailwind. We could see a Z move from the Tornadus as well, um, but the Kang is probably likely to go into the Charabug with a double edge or a return, I think. Um, to try and get rid of it. We do see it Mega Evolve. There's the Tailwind. Um, and the Charabug probably going to eat up a little bit of damage here from yeah, the Kangaskhan. So, yeah, we do see that. But the Charabug taking that pretty well, to be honest. And, like, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so, I think what we'll do, Protect, we'll go for a... We'll go for a String Shot. We'll try and get rid of the Speed Boost here. With Charabug. If Charabug goes down, I don't mind this too much because then we do get Sableye back on the field. There's a Z move. I think it will be into Charabug, I'd imagine. Let's see. <sighs> Stu doing so well as well right now on the ladder with that 1700 rating. I feel like this is always going to be a really tough game, but we'll not give up. The match is still in the early days. Let's see what Charabug does. Can he? take this nah goes down but like I said it does give us the opportunity to bring in Sableye as a double edge um, and the Z moves burnt as well now which is which is the other thing so we get Sableye onto the field and that tornado if it does want to attack it's got to go for blind hurricanes and they could miss so you can get punished for that we'll mega evolve we'll go for an Aurora Sphere into the Kang and we'll fake out into the Kang as well. I'm not too worried about the Tornadus right now. Um, we could get taunted from the Tornadus into a Sableye. But if it does that, it kind of wastes the turn. And we potentially can 
pick up the knockout onto Kangaskhan here with an Aurora Sphere. I don't know, it depends how bulky the Kang is. Kang gonna switch out though, it's a smart play. And uh, Groudon coming in. Okay. Uh, Taunt probably is the best play, to be honest, into Sableye, isn't it? Well, we'll Mega Evolve Mega Me Too. And there's a little bit of fake out damage into the Groudon. Icy Wind. Okay. Yeah, that's a, it's a tech that a lot of players are, are using at the minute on Tornadus. Um, which makes a lot of sense because when the Tailwind does run out, it kind of sets up their team to kind of keep keep pressing for the rest of the game. Um, we get the Aurora Sphere into the Groudon, which is nice. Um, the Tailwind will be pittering out soon, which is the, the big thing. Um, I'm kind of tempted to switch into Lanoon here. And and try and taunt the Tornadus if I can. I just feel like we're not going to be able to. Maybe a foul play would have been better into that Groudon. Oh, we do get the taunt, so that's good. It's actually going for an attack, which is nice. So we can't set up another Tailwind. It's going for another Icy Wind. Um, yeah, it's all going to be about this Precipice Blades hitting the Sableye, I think, here, really. Ooh, Flamethrower. Wow. Okay. Don't mind that. And um, because now my opponent has to... Uh, we can try and get this Belly Drum set up now. Um, because my opponent, Side Strike should take down this Groudon. Um, and the, the Tornadus can't taunt right now, so we can Belly Drum. My opponent's got to rely on a Hurricane hitting, a Blind Hurricane hitting. So we'll go for the Side Strike into the Groudon. That should be enough to pick up the knockout there. Um, we might see the Groudon protect an Icy Wind come out from this, from this Tornadus. We'll see, we'll see. It's going to be interesting, whatever. But it, at least now we're kind of in a position where we can try and claw back this match. Side strike. Like I say, from the damage from the Aurora Sphere, this should be enough to take down this Groudon. Oh, no! Luna avoids it. Flamethrower. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't take us down too much. <laughs> oh, no! Damn! I can't believe it survived the side strike. Ah. <sighs> And now it's over. Flamethrower Groudon has kicked our butt. I'm going to mark it down already. There's no point. I don't think we can do really anything from this point. Not with Mewtwo. It's not that strong. Oh, I'm so sad. So sad. But it's just how it is. You know, we've had two hard matches today. The Lele kind of really screwed us over in that first game. The Tornadus is that easy to take down. We should have taken it down a lot earlier. Flamethrower coming out from Groudon, it's so powerful as well, isn't it? Um, I mean, me too, handling it pretty well. <sighs> Thing is, though, I mean, Xerneas or Kang comes in now, Xerneas, yeah. And, like, we can't split our attacks. We can only target certain things, and uh, <sighs> it makes sense to me if the Xerneas protected maybe now and Kang has kind of switched in for the Groudon, but we, I can't see it. There's no way for us to actually come back against three Pokemon. We can attempt to, um, but this is going to be it. I think the Geomancy will get set up here. There's no way we would be able to take down that Xerneas with a with a side strike from this position. And uh, even if we did, um, the Groudon will be left open to Flamethrower. So very good game to Shoe. We did push you a little bit to the mark. The Hurricane miss is obviously unfortunate, but uh, we needed that Flamethrower target into the Mewtwo, not the Lanoon. And um, unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, to take the Flamethrower. Mind, if we'd taken the Flamethrower with a decent amount of damage, we'd proc our berry, we'd get the Belly Drum off, then I think there's a game on. But there's still the Kang and the Xerneas to come in. you got the Fake Out Geomancy, which makes it pretty difficult from that point anyway so tough games today
and uh, not the best of results but we're not going to give up we're not going to be downtrodden by it um it's been great to have Stu on as our uh, last opponent today and uh, we'll wrap things up there but we'll be back tomorrow and we're obviously going to be activating those bonus buttons tomorrow so that is going to be very exciting we've got three of those to activate and a fourth one obviously from our patrons and um, so hopefully they've Put some nominations together so we can activate maybe even four tomorrow but probably not activate all of them tomorrow let me know down in the comment section below which buttons you'd like to see activated and uh, we can go from there and uh, i'll have a think about which ones i think that the keepers at the minute are definitely the save lie um lanoon because i want to get that working and um, i think everything else is probably up in the air i'm probably leaning on the side of keeping scarf kyoga but I'm not too sure at the minute. But we'll come back tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. And we'll see you for another one tomorrow. So until then, take care and bye-bye.